All right, guys, so I'm going to assume that um, you have Ignition installed. In this case, I'm using Ignition. Basically, you can serve up a server um, on your local machine. So that's what I did. I installed it, and it gave me a port number, 8088. We'll get into more detail about that. Uh, but I'm going to go to my phone and show you first that um, I cannot access this particular page that you see here from outside the Internet because I don't have the port forwarding done yet. So let's do that. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm going to try to access um, that particular local host, colon 8088, but in my case, I'm going to target my IP address, my local machine IP address, and I'll kind of show you what that looks like in more detail. So I clicked on it, as you can see here, that is my local IP address, and that is the port. I have my local IP address hidden right now, so you won't be able to see this in the video, um, but I'll give you an idea of, or I'll just show you how to find your IP address. Okay, so to find your IP address, literally just type in find my IP address online. Uh, click on the first prompt there, and it's gonna show you the IPv4 IP address, and that's what you'll use in conjunction with the port number of Ignition in this case. So now let's start to go and configure our router. So in my case, I have to go to firewall. I'm using AT&T UVerse um, router, firewall, applications, pinhole, and DMZ. Um, <clears throat> so you'll just go to port forwarding on your router. I'm sure it's newer than mine. Um, I'm going to click on my particular local machine, which is the Ruffs MSI. And then once that loads up. Um, <clears throat> so basically what you'll do is you won't see this here because I added this already. But um, what you'll do is you will add a new user to find application. Make sure that allow individual, as you saw that, but that was there, pressed. Make sure it's TCP, um, add your name, add the name of the um, <clears throat> port forward that you want to call it. And then in this case, this is what's important. You'll add 8088 uh, uh, or range. I'm just going to add one particular port because that is the port, as you can see here, that they provided for me on Ignition. So you'll add that, add to list. I don't want to add to list because I already have one there added. Um, and then after you do that, uh, let's go back to how it would, you'll click on your, make sure it's always highlighted and it's focused because a lot of times it will blur that. Um, so then you'll see it here and then you will highlight it and click add to the hosted applications. In my case, boom, I already have it there. It's already saved. And then another important step that you'll have to do is you will have to go to your firewall and just allow a firewall pass through. In my case, I'm just turning them all off for testing reasons. Um, so just make sure you can try this out to yourself. Make sure it's off. I wouldn't recommend leaving them off, obviously, but um, okay. And then let's go back to my phone and see if we can access this particular website. Um, <clears throat> without being on the Wi-Fi and just through our internet service providers internet all right so we're here let's go back to that IP address that I told you about earlier which is my laptops public IP address that is on the network w alongside with that port number that we allowed the port forwarding to do so in this case it's kind of taking a while my internet speeds pretty bad um, but you'll be able to we'll be able to see that one gateway ignition gateway page that we had um, <clears throat> the home the gateway portion of it where we can do the configuration and as you can see I'm not on Wi-Fi it's kinda hard to see sorry but uh, my goodness that's bright anyway uh, let me show you this so yeah not on Wi-Fi and you can see that I am accessing this gateway and it even shows roughs MSI so you can see that this is the the same gateway that we had, and I'll show you real quick uh, on, let's see how the heck we can do this, oh there we go, show you right here, so it's the exact same gateway, um, it's just slowly loading, uh, there we go, wow, finally, but anyway, yep, that's how you do it, if you guys have questions, let me know, uh, I just tried to do this as quick as I could, I wasn't trying to get, go into a lot of detail, but hope you found it useful.